Uh, today I wanted to talk about Under the Skin. Um, it's not exactly for everybody. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's based on a book and I, I actually read it really recently, like last month, um, in anticipation of the movie. I really wanted to see it and I wanted to know what the story was. And then it turns out that the movie has absolutely nothing to do with the book. And uh, usually I would be pretty upset about something like that. I hate when they're just unnecessary um, adaptations of things that don't have anything to do with the book. Um, but in this case I was actually okay with it because after reading the, um, the book I realized that the story would never work as a movie, ever. Um, it's way too, I guess, out there and um, it just wouldn't work on screen. Um, if you don't know what Under the Skin is about, it's about an alien that comes to our planet and um, is sort of disguised as um, a woman and she kidnaps hitchhikers and um, she harvest, harvests um, their meat because the aliens on her planet like human meat. Um, and in the book she you know she went through extremely painful plastic surgery to look like a human. Um, so she is very strange looking and uh, you could never cast someone like that. You would have to use CG which would, which would be ridiculous. And then she lives on a farm with a bunch of aliens that haven't gone through um, the transformation. So the aliens in the book, they go on four legs, they have tails, they have fur, they have their own language, they have weird eyes. So it would look ridiculous on screen and um, the whole thing just, it would not work even though the plot has a lot more substance. So if you've read the book and you don't know anything about the movie, I just want to say that it has nothing to do with the book. So, you know, if you're not interested in seeing the movie, you can read the book because it's completely different. And I highly recommend it because it was really interesting. It's a really fast read. I read it in two days and um, it, w it was really interesting. Um, I really enjoyed the book. But, like I said, the movie has nothing to do with this, so I can't really compare them. Um, in, the uh, in the movie, I mean, um, the alien played by Scarlett Johansson, she doesn't go through uh, transformation, she actually um, takes someone's skin and she just puts it over her body and she becomes a human. Um, and I, I don't want to spoil a lot about it um, because there's not really much in it, so I feel like if I say anything, uh, I'd be spoiling the movie because it's so slow and nothing really happens. It's more... This is a movie where it's not even about the characters, really, because there is no character development. Um, there's barely any dialogue. And the dialogue seems all improvised. Um, and the dialogue is just between her and the men that she uh, picks up. So... We don't learn anything about her, where she comes from, what she's doing. Um, we only just go on this journey with her. Um, and, and the movie is more about the feeling that you get, not about the story that it tells. But having said that, I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked the ending, which I wasn't sure if I was going to. I, I sort of felt like the ending was going in a way where I wasn't going to like it. But I was pleasantly surprised, and uh, it was good enough. And actually, it was more than good enough. The last, like, three minutes were incredible. This is the strange thing about this movie, that it's so slow, and nothing happens. And it's just her driving around Glasgow. There's nothing interesting happening. Um, she has a few interactions here and there. And then there would be 
an image or a scene that lasts a minute and you're just glued to the screen and you cannot look away and that makes up for all the boring parts in the world. Um, so I I'm usually not a fan of that, like, oh, let's just have a boring movie and then bam, something happens and now it's good. I'm usually not a fan of that, but in this movie it worked perfectly just because um, the contrast between the normal world in Glasgow and her world in the house where she takes the men is so big. Um, and I mean, those were the best parts where you get to see her do her thing with the men that she picks up. And uh, that, that was really the best part. Uh, I read somewhere that people were not happy with uh, Scarlett Johansson's uh, accent. And I was totally fine with it because... She didn't have a Glasgow accent, and that's good, because she's an alien that is putting on a fake accent, so it should seem like a fake accent. Um, so I was totally fine with her performance, actually. Um, the thing is, she... Mostly she just stood there. Um, which is fine, I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. The alien doesn't really have emotions like like we do. So most of the time she just stood there and faked it, um, which was okay. And then I read somewhere that um, some of the scenes with the random men that she picks up were actually hidden cameras and uh, the men didn't know they were being on a, uh, filmed. Um, and I, I really couldn't tell which scenarios that happen in um I, I think I think there was one guy where I spotted like oh he's an, I don't think he's an actor I think he really is just giving her directions um so yeah uh under the skin um I, I liked it a lot I don't think that this is a movie for everybody certainly not the book maybe the book I think more people would enjoy it just because it's it's a book, I feel like books are a bit more, even though more people watch movies than they read books, I feel like books are more available, sort of, um, story-wise, I don't know how to explain it, uh, I feel like more people can relate to the story in the book, I don't think a lot of people can relate to the story in the movie, and I don't think a lot of people will like it, um, I think most of the audience will say, this was boring, nothing happened, what what did I just see? And uh, which is totally fine, it, it's a very slow movie. And uh, the first half an hour goes by pretty quickly, but then the middle, sort of the last two thirds of um, the movie were just so slow. Even though technically more things were happening, it was still so slow. And I just kept looking at the clock, like, how long have I been watching this? Because it's, it's good, but it's just too much. It gets boring. It does. Uh, but I'm glad I saw it, and um, I was into it. And, uh, yeah, I think you should, if you, if you want to see this movie, I think you should um, know what you're getting into. Don't look up trailers and spoilers and things like that. Just go with an open mind if you're ready to have a really slow movie. It's only an hour and 48 minutes. It's gonna feel like two hours though. It's gonna feel long. Um, yeah, just know what you're getting into, I guess. Um, if you like this type of movie, then uh, then you'd probably like it, but if if you're not ready for something like this, then don't see it just for the sake of seeing it and then say, oh, it wasn't good. Because it is good, it's just not for everybody, in my opinion. So, yeah, and there is can only, only watch it, again, only watch it if you know what you're getting into. That's my official opinion.